I'm Richard Schultz. Hi, I'm Kristen Anderson. And uh, we've been working together on this project with a bunch of uh, student and other people helping us with interviews uh, since 2006. And we've uh, collected 114 maps. Something like that? Yep. And and for this PowerPoint, the focus is patient activation. Can you say something about this? Sure. One of the things that we were interested in, um, one of the questions we were interested in is whether or not the maps could help us learn more about patient activation, which uh, turns out to be a pretty strong predictor of some health outcomes. And for those of you who want to know more about patient activation, there's a reference at the end of this to some of the literature about patient activation. For this little uh, compilation, we've looked at people who have high or low patient activation scores, people at both extremes, and we found some really interesting correlations that we hadn't expected um, that you'll get to see here. You'll get to hear some of the voices of the people who drew the maps and hear them talk about their understanding of health and where it comes from, and also get to see their maps. Here's me, and there's the biggest little circle is my hubby. He's like the, the most wonderful husband in the world. It's like he has the most impact on my health. Mm. And then from there, I have all the other things, like my parents. Mm. They're both in their 80s, and they live a block away from me. I see health as like <coughs> uh, my mind, my body, and my spirit. Mm -hmm. And so Sacred Heart nourishes my spirit their sacred heart. My body, um, Bellingham Athletic Club, I go mm. and work out and, and do yoga. And then uh, the food co-op is important. And I get mm -hmm. and give to most of these places. The food co well, I get and give from the food co-op, but mm. I can really see how I give and get from my hubby. Mm. I give give and get from the Bellingham Athletic Club because I have to put a lot of effort into mm. it. And then I have the library and the internet that I get information from, um, health information and other information. And my two children. Um, mm. It's a big... <laughs> it's, 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 it's a two-way thing there. Too. <laughs> I give and get there too. <laughs> It's life, it's everything. It's uh, uh, taking care of yourself and so you can uh, do the things that you want to do, travel the places you want to travel, uh, music, art, uh, um, reading. I, reading is a, a very big part of my life. I um, didn't put the library in, but. Mm -hmm. um, 
I, I love to read, and I, I do that too when I go sit at the harbor and look, I just, I read. Well, where do you think health comes from? Health comes from individuals. Um, and the earth, the earth has all of the plants that uh, we need for uh, good eyes, good skin, good hair, good uh, muscles, tissue. Did I answer your question? Yeah. My experiences with the uh, doctors that are on the payroll over at uh, uh, St. Joseph's Hospital was not um, at all satisfactory. Really not satisfactory? Very unsatisfactory. No. So I got the wrong doctor and uh, I was doing all right. He took me off of the uh, medicines for both of them, said I didn't need them. Well, then I thought, well, he didn't know what he was talking about. So then, you know, if you have uh, thyroid problems, that affects your uh, well-being as far as uh, being able to have any uh, get up and go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to, that doctor at all and uh, then I was going to go to Madrona and uh, so they gave me a new doctor there. Mm -hmm. So this guy seems to know what he's doing but uh, that was pretty well uncalled for, for yeah. a professional that uh, after 20 years you just jerked the medicine away. Well, one thing for me is that when you first talked about mapping your health, mm -hmm. I immediately thought of, oh, okay, I need to think about my doctor. And, and then all of us just went this whole different yeah, route, right. yeah. which is so interesting because what is health? Travel got two circles because it's really important to me. <laughs> These two women know how important travel is to me. Um, it keeps me connected to all sorts of things, adventure and friends and family and all of that. And then way down here is my therapist, my doctor, my nurse practitioner, and alternative therapies like acupuncture and massage and naturopathic doctors. And my doctor... I was just there yesterday, and I had a four-minute visit, and I waited an hour, and, oh. an yeah. hour, and that's pretty typical. And so he he definitely gets a dotted line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I feel I I don't feel that way about my therapist or my nurse practitioner. Do they talk to each other, or is it all the communication between them only because you're the connector? I'm the I'm the yeah. connector. Yeah. But I just listed things that are. But I think are important to my health. It's health insurance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing to have, especially if you uh, if you worked at Western, you got uh, a uniform medical. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably about the best around. Mm -hmm. They try to uh, load this Part B Medicare on us, and I think our uniform is even better than that. Wow. Of course, we have Medicare. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I list my present health after six surgeries. I'm in wow. pretty good shape. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> You've been repaired. Six surgeries. Oh, your surgeries. So. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. If, um, I was on the treadmill, uh, I think last week, mm -hmm. and the last time I was on the treadmill, I was in the hospital the next day wow. for quadruple bypass surgery. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. So this time when I went on the treadmill, they called me up and said it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I got a reconditioned heart. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>
what are some other things that contribute to being happy and feeling good for yourself? Um, having a, a good doctor that will listen to you and take the time to explain things. Um, um, tell me if I get off track. Let's mm -hmm. see. Uh, exercise is important, which I don't do enough. <laughs> um, I'm supposed to, be, you know, be walking 30, at least 30 minutes every day for my osteoporosis, and I don't do that. I don't work out in the weight room like I should. <clears throat> but um, it's important just to. Um, maintain my health, so I take a lot of vitamins. Um, mainly, I'm not good at um, spending the time to cook nutritious foods. I don't really eat very many greens, which I should be doing. Um, I tr mainly, because I'm so busy all the time, I just grab a handful of vitamins and hope that that sustains me. Um, I don't I've had anorexia twice in my life, which is a horrible thing to have, and you don't plan on it. It's not something you just wake up and say, okay, today I'm not going to eat. Um, it just happened over, you know, not having control over the family or whatever. There's a walking trail right over here, which is nice. You can go down um, by the bay and come back and see the salmon run in season. And so I'm real, I feel that nature is really, really important in mm -hmm. terms of your health. I think you really have to have a perspective. A lot of people stay inside all the time, mm -hmm. and that just it would drive me crazy. If, they're, if I can be outside, I'm outside. So I think that's part of being healthy is being outside and, you know, getting your vitamin D and doing your exercise mm -hmm. in nature, whatever that is, gardening or kayaking or walking or biking or whatever. Um, the other thing, and I think this is the kayaking, the gardening has in common, the walking, is beauty. Mm -hmm. But it's so rewarding because the beauty is just, I mean... The dahlias are astonishing. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many different kinds. And then the kayaking, it's the same way. You have to carry your kayak, and sure. you have to walk down to the lake. And and so, like, you know, here I am in a place that nobody else gets to, you know, experience. When I'm out there, I'm alone with the birds and with the, you know, d ducks and the whatever's out mm -hmm. there. And it's just so peaceful. And then you're also getting exercise mm -hmm, at the mm -hmm. same time. So that's what I like about being outside. Yeah.